When Roots author Alex Haley traced his ancestor Kunta Kinte back to Jafura in the Gambia, he changed forever the lives of the people who live here. The 70s book and TV series has inspired tens of thousands of people to journey up the Gambia River to the twin villages of Jafure and Albreda. They come here to find out about the Atlantic slave trade that transported as many as 11 million men, women and children from Africa to the Americas. The story of Kunta Kinte brings this dark side of human history to life because he was a real man whose descendants still live in the village he left behind. Roots put Jafure on the world map. It has a globally important museum of slavery. This museum houses relics that show the grim realities of the slave trade. Just a short boat ride away is the UN World Heritage Site, the notorious prison on James Island, renamed Kunta Kinte Island in 2011. Visiting these places has given many modern people a better understanding of the evils of the slave trade. Yet until recently, the communities here reaped very little benefit from tourism. Jobs were few and money from visitors didn't filter through to the people who needed it most. Now, however, the fortunes of Jufure and Albreda are changing thanks to a project put in place by the Travel Foundation. The role of the Travel Foundation in the Gambia is uh, mainly to look at those impacts that are not helping. Tourism, as you know, comes with both positive and negative impacts and try to see whether they can do something about it. Of course, working directly with the tour operators too. In 2008, the charity set up a ticketing scheme that puts money into a community fund to train and employ village guides. So we've got something like 19 people on the payroll. And we've got the tour operators to contribute towards village development by every tourist entering the village to actually pay a gate fee of $50. And we put all these things together to be able to pay salaries, monthly salaries to all the guides, plus the two village heads and a ticket collector. So there are 16 guides now that are actually paid. They've got a respectable job and they take people around the two villages of Albreda and Jufre and explain the whole of the slave history, the slave trade. And that's actually supporting 16 families within both of those villages. And it's improved the customer experience by 100%. It's much, much better. And customers really come back with good feedback now. Apart from that, we've actually managed to, to have a proper accounting system of everything that is collected. And also the rest of the money after all that is paid is actually meant for community development. In 2008, they came in, 2007, 2008, they came in here to make sure the people of this community benefits. Like the past 30 years, tour company were bringing tourists here. We're not benefiting, the communities were not benefiting. The project has also paid for a much needed children's day center and a teacher. Of course, we need further development. One of our next priorities will be water and electricity. This will encourage more investment in the village. Women in our community are also benefiting from our new craft market. This is empowering them economically. No one can turn back the clock to give African slaves their freedom. But at least the people of Kunta Kinte's village can now look forward to a better future, gifted in part by their long-lost ancestor. Thank you.